As nine states prepare to vote on whether to legalize marijuana for either medical or recreational purposes, Colorado has had a two-year head start. Their budding entrepreneurs are finding all kinds of pot-related businesses, including putting weed into weddings. Jane Wells reports. A wedding can be stressful. Beck Coop takes the stress out of it by putting pot in the bouquet. The motto is straight from your bouquet to your bowl. So you literally can take it out and smoke it. She owns Buds and Blossoms for people who want to celebrate with more than champagne. We've had weddings with upwards of 120 joints at one wedding. Last year she did six weddings. This year she doubled that. Most include a Bud bar, which can cost up to $85 an hour. Best story ever was a grandma came up and she wanted to try some cannabis soda. She took a little sip and she was like, my grandson tells me I'm going to feel great. So I made sure we gave her a nice small dose and seriously within about an hour, she was out dancing harder than I've ever seen a grandma dance on a wedding. I love the leaves. She's also learned to deal with wedding guests who are not comfortable around pot. That's when you set up the bud bar in a completely separate area. Then there's the plant itself. These guys right here are just absolutely stellar. But this weed wilts quickly without water. It's an incredibly fragile plant. But Coop's budding idea is starting to blossom into something much bigger. She and two partners started their own cannabis wedding expo after being turned down for a regular bridal convention. The profit margins off of the expos are quite nice. I can't wait to retire before I'm 50. <laughs> That's my goal. I wish I could retire. <laughs> I wish I had that idea. That is a fantastic idea. Anyway, Coop says she has had 75 vendors at her first cannabis wedding expo. One of the biggest challenges for Coop's business is transporting the cannabis to a wedding. Colorado's law limits you to two ounces at a time in your vehicle. For big weddings at a big bud bar, that requires either several vehicles or several trips back and forth to transport the cannabis. Also, the cannabis is not allowed to be within the reach of the driver. That's tough. Up next, a woman in Texas wants to raise awareness for her son's rare eye condition. We'll tell you more right after this.